Hello everybody and welcome to What About The Game. Today I'm going to be talking about Star Sky, which has just been released on the Wii U eShop in North America and Europe. It's very much one of those art kind of games, you know, where it blurs the line a little. So it's definitely not a game for everybody. I don't want to talk about it too much because if I show you too much I will show you most of the game because the game really isn't very long. Um, there's many multiple paths and multiple uh, events to experience but even when you put all of those together it's still you know it's like one hour and a half depending on how long it takes you to find all of the events. I wouldn't let the length of the game get in the way of buying it though because I really enjoyed it actually. It was really surprising because I, I don't usually like these arty kind of games. You know, I, I like a little bit of more involvement in the game and more of a, a narrative. Because, I mean, in this game there is no story, really. The story is up to what you want it to be. It's your interpretation of it. You know, it presents you with certain events and you know you can use your imagination as to what the meaning behind it is it's very simplistic you know the animation is minimal uh, the art style is very monochromatic so there's not too much color and i think that works well even if it is overused in a lot of games these days especially these arty kind of games but you know it works well it's nice and when there is occasional flashes of colour, it's, you know, it can be really beautiful. So it's basically like a, a walking simulator. You walk from the the left side of the screen to the right side. It only takes a few minutes to get from one side to the other. And, you know, along the way, you can experience events. Now, to, to trigger these events, you need to listen for the music. Because for the majority of the game, you just hear the insects ring and all that but occasionally if you step into like a certain area the music will just start to go oh, and then that's an indication of that there's an event there and all you have to do is stand there and wait for something to happen you know you need a little bit of patience and not every time you hear the music can you activate the event you know sometimes you need to activate an event before that to be able to make this one happen. And that's what makes this game good to play through like, a few times. I played through it like 10 times and even after that I still didn't find all of the events because you, you really do have to try many different things. And at the end of the game when you reach the other side it like takes you to a map screen and it tells you what you saw in that go, what you saw previously and what you still have yet to see, which provides a really good incentive and hints as to what you still need to do. And if you do all of these events, then you will see the true ending, which you know I don't want to spoil it. It's nice, it's simple, and again, it leaves it up to your imagination as to what it actually means. What I really liked about this game is just how, how warm and comforting and friendly and just sweet. There's like really sweet moments in that I didn't ex expect at all. I mean, I don't want to say anything about it because if you do buy it, then I want you to experience it. There's only 18 events, so spoiling one of them is like quite a big chunk of the game really. So yeah, I think if you like arty kind of games and you like this minimalistic atmosphere then I think you will like this game. Okay guys if you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe it will really really help me out it will really motivate me to keep making more content and don't forget to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Okay thanks.